In a typical contested divorce, you first consult with an attorney. If you decide to retain that attorney, you sign a retainer agreement and pay a retainer fee. The retainer agreement is a contract which defines the terms of the representation of the attorney. The retainer fee is a down payment on the legal fee that the attorney is going to charge you. Your attorney most likely will send a letter to your spouse asking for your spouse to have his or her attorney contact your attorney. If your spouse does not respond, your attorney then most likely will have a process server serve your spouse with a summons. Once your spouse is served, your spouse has 20 days to respond if your spouse resides in New York. If your spouse is outside of New York, then your spouse has 30 days to respond. If your spouse responds, your attorney would try to negotiate a settlement with your spouse or your spouse's attorney. If a settlement is reached, you and your spouse will sign papers, including a stipulation of settlement. Papers will be filed with the court, and the judge will approve the divorce, and the divorce will be granted. If you and your spouse don't agree on the settlement, then the matter will go to the court. There will be discovery, conferences, and if necessary, a trial. This has been a very brief introduction to the subject of contested divorce in New York. For more information, consult with an experienced divorce attorney. My name is Jeffrey Pelt. Over the past 25 years, I have helped over 20,000 clients with legal matters. If you have a question, call me for a free consultation.